So, so, so exploring um, this gift of, um, of um, mothering, you know, it means that, you know, each one of us is a mother. There is an uh, innate mother in all of us with a capacity to gift the world with something. Um, and that capacity to give uh, the world with a gift uh, that we uh, bring manifests itself at different realms, um, you know, at the physical, at the mental, at the spiritual. Um, in the uh, physical realm, you know, it is about, you know, the physical, you know, um, uh, gifting the world with a child, for instance. Uh, where we are basically, you know, going on this other initiation, you know, to meet the spirit, you know, in this uh, other world where we then create the bridge for them to exist here. At the mental level, um, we uh, go into the place where we envision, where we again become pregnant with something pregnant with uh, a gift that we have to deliver to the universe, which gift is connected also to our purpose here on, uh, on earth. And so a lot of us may not physically give birth to someone um, as in the human form, but we do give birth to a lot of ideas so that this um, uh, conference on uh, you know, mothering, you know, is the birth, you know, the conception, you know, of women who have been working on this for a lot of years and then give birth to this conference that we can all participate in. So the question that one must ask themselves is, what am I pregnant with? What is my gift of mothering to the world? Because a lot of women feel bad. Well, you know, we're talking about birthing, but I've never given birth. Um, so what do I have to contribute? There's tons you can contribute. Even in my tradition, in my village, when people have not physically, you know, given birth, they have given countless birth to things that just amazing. And I can clearly remember that, you know, the first time that, you know, when you talk about unconditional love, really truly unconditional love, it came from my aunt who never bore children. But I tell you, when I'm going crazy, when I go to her, there is something in the way she holds the divine energy that makes me completely one with myself again. And I think that's um, something we have to remember also. So at the uh, spiritual level, we're constantly giving birth to someone. Um, to, 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 to mother is also to midwife. Yeah? So in, in terms of spirituality, we are midwifing someone from one stage of their life to another. Um, um, in, in Western terminology, it would be ma mentoring someone. You are mothering. You are mothering someone through something so that they can go back to the place where they can be whole again, where they can also gift their gift to the community. And so the gift of mothering is everywhere. It's in countless places, you know. So some of us in our um, um, uh, spirituality, we become literally the midwife of spirit. We channel spirit, and that's what we do. In our gift of mentoring, you know, we are constantly the one in the community where people call onto us and say, hey, this person is going through this crisis. Can you assist? So you know you are midwifing when someone comes to you and say, my life has fallen apart. It no longer makes sense. And you can hold their hand and midwife them. Going through the valleys and the mountains and the Sahara Desert of their life so you can give birth to them again to the other side. Yeah? Um, and so that's the reason why in my tradition you never call someone mother unless you're holding them within that sacred energy.